ecoholics today we are going to understand a very very crucial issue which is unemployment unemployment with respect to indian economy is the current issue amidst which we all stand and presently the statistics and the various reports definitely show that there is a crucial condition after the pandemic also that extends with respect to unemployment so let us first understand the concept and types of unemployment and then we'll deal with the various other concepts related to unemployment and indian economy when we talk about unemployment basically unemployment believes to be a situation where the workers who are willing to work do not actually get the work so the workers the employ uh, the workers the individuals who are willing to work who are able to work when they would not get work to do so that they can earn their livelihood then that will be uh, stated as the concept of unemployment however there are various types of unemployment spread ab uh, about in the whole economy we can't just say that a specific economy always would have one type of unemployment only there can be a variety of unemployments that can happen in a specific type of an economy uh, at a specific time period so let's understand the various types of unemployment as well now there are various uh, unemployment types over here let's start from the seasonal unemployment first okay so when we talk about the seasonal unemployment seasonal unemployment basically is a type of an unemployment where the people are not getting enough work uh, to earn their livelihoods during a specific season when they work after which uh, after a particular season they might not have enough work for example a variety of farmers who are uh, producing um, sowing seeds in a particular season let's say kharif reason or rabi season or any other jayat season any of such seasons if they are sowing the crops and they are harvesting it after that so after that season is over definitely the farmer will suffer from a seasonal unemployment now there is a popular myth that seasonal unemployment only occurs to farmers but obviously that's not true seasonal unemployment may occur to any other individual who is working in a particular setup where that setup only works for a for a specific season or a specific time period for example the season of umbrellas or raincoats would only happen when there's a ra rainy season or monsoon so only upcoming monsoon will trigger the uh, sales for different raincoats and umbrellas and so will the production and consumption so which is why that kind of unemployment will come under the seasonal unemployment then we have another one which is cyclical unemployment again there is a popular myth that people misunderstand uh, seasonal unemployment to be cyclical unemployment and probably they they are um, usually taken synonymous but that is again not true cyclical unemployment refers to concept of business cycle so business cycles when every economy faces these different phases of business cycles okay we can have inflationary phase then we can have um, a deflationary phase we can have depressionary phase recessionary phase we can have prosperity boom period so economy can have any type of these phases and during these phases of course the sales the production the consumption everything changes accordingly the aggregate demand aggregate supply changes accordingly so the cyclical un unemployment is more over based or a uh, derived one from the market forces that appear during the business cycle so because of a certain inflationary period that is backed with unemployment they it might occur 
that kind of unemployment might occur because of a cyclical unemployment. Uh, this type of an un unemployment is not very serious one. Um, if um, like uh, until and unless business cycle of that particular economy is very crucial, until that time cyclical unemployment does not uh, vary or does not um, emphasize a lot of crucial sites or side effects. Um, and which is why it's just considered to be a phase of the economy. Then we talk about two other types of unemployments. One is frictional unemployment, the other is structural. First, we'll talk about the frictional unemployment. Many a times, uh, people, individuals would go for various jobs they would apply for these jobs but probably after five six years of working in that particular company they might think that i would require some growth and so they might you know want to change that and when they apply for another job so they will have to just uh, resign from their previous jobs and the time period between actually joining a new job and the resignation that they have given that phase is of course unemployment for that individual and so such type of unemployment that occurs from frequently changing jobs or waiting for a particular job to happen or the time that is left the, the small uh, short period of time that is left in between of doing two or three jobs that becomes your time of frictional unemployment so again frictional unemployment is also a phase of an economy it's not a very crucial aspect of unemployment that we talk about the most crucial aspect of unemployment when we talk about unemployment as um, you know a major demerit of an economy that time we talk about structural unemployment now structural unemployment talks about the basic structure of the economy whether it, we are talking about Indian economy or any other economy. Structural econo uh, unemployment refers to a situation where individuals are unemployed because they they are willing to work they are able to work but they have lesser skills than required. When the individuals do not have adequate skills and because of that most of the jobs are unavailable or uh, not accessible for individuals that becomes a problem of structural unemployment. Now here there's massive amount of policy making and measures that must be taken by the government because only upskilling oneself or by taking the enough amount of training and adequate amount of qualifications can one reach to that kind of a requirement eligibility criteria set up by these companies so which is why structural and unemployment is one one kind of an unemployment which is the most crucial and the most uh, we can say important to consider for any government for any economy so these are the variety of types of unemployments now there's also a concept which is known as unemployment trap you must be seeing over here unemployment trap now many a times what happens is during a course of unemployment in in any economy the economy the government would provide some benefits because of that unemployment that is present in the economy the government would try to give some benefits so that the uh, the, the individuals are better off the individuals do not have um, because the individuals do not have any earnings or uh, they are, are not able to earn their livelihoods out of any money uh, because they are not earning anything so the government would take some steps some measures to provide them with some benefits it can be a certain amount of cash that they may get uh, a direct you know benefit transfer or they may get some other facilities but if the individuals you know get encouraged by getting more and more benefits and facilities and uh, 
reversely do not apply for any type of employment further then that becomes a discouraging problem wherein the benefits actually are discouraging these individuals to actually fetch employment to go out there and upgrade themselves train get training uh, which is required for a certain multitude of jobs and get employed so a discouraging factor can also be the benefits that are transferred or the benefits that are given by the government it might not happen every time but there can, can be instances and those instances will be known as the unemployment trap now next what we see is that now unemployment is a major criteria or a major parameter a major factor uh, instead um which contributes to economy's poverty poverty in the economy has multitude of factors there are social factors there are factors related to inefficient resource utilization distribution all of that is true but one of a major factor also is unemployment so here not just the government will take measures will take required amount of steps to curtail unemployment but will also look into the factor that mass or many people in the economy are not getting adequate jobs because of which they are falling under the poverty uh, situation so that situation should also be curbed by the government by the by any economy and um, which is shown by this particular flow chart now uh some of the things that we can talk about is rural and urban development issues challenges policy measures anything um over here we talk about both a rural and urban development the very first concept which will um you know relate to gradually making the economy better will be public health and sanitation now over here in rural and urban development how is this linked interlinked with unemployment of course because development as the development is going to happen as there are various things various um sides or pillars of the economy will develop the people which are going to be a part of that development will also get employed and gradually everybody is going to be in a better off situation and so will definitely get a certain type of employment so public and health and sanitation uh, definitely is a very important part uh, these days literacy female empowerment enforcement of law and order to see everything is fine land reforms um, infrastructure development various infrastructure developments you must be seeing there is a lot of uh, public private partnership that is happening in every city in every state so that there's certain type of development that takes place in both rural and urban areas um availability of credit becomes a very in integral problem especially when there's a crisis scenario in the rural areas accessibility and availability of credit credit is something that has to be um uh, very much implemented and of course that will lead to also eradication of poverty all of these policies uh, when we talk about eradication of poverty there's a small note over here that eradication of poverty as such is like a dream um it's an ideal state because there will all po poverty is not always absolute it is always uh, mostly in terms of relativeness you would always be or one individual will always be poorer and one will be richer so it's a moreover a relative concept so eradication of poverty mostly is concerned with uh, eradication of hunger eradication of starvation eradication of uh, all those social evils that or economic evils that are not letting an individual get employed and earn their livelihood so eradication of that right now uh, when we talk about rural sector 
let's first discuss about the rural sector and then we'll go forward to the urban sector um, there are various issues concerning the rural sector the very first one is the non availability and non accessibility of banking system we all know that banking system definitely exists in india and since a long long period of time however when we talk about uh, uh, various norms various accessibility norms or participation of individuals in the banking segment then that becomes a crucial problem because still there are various parts there various interior rural areas where banking system has not efficiently established so uh, people are still uh, fretting about the uh, accounts whether they can uh, whether they can store money safely in a bank or whether they can uh, withdraw their money how much that they can withdraw their money all of these basic things are still um, of an issue which is there prevailing in the rural segment so this becomes a very first point non availability of digital infrastructure and poor digital literacy now of course we are reaching everywhere digitally there are e platforms for almost everything now everything can be reached accessibility is there from your mobile phones but the issue still remains that we are still yet to cover all these rural areas all of these villages all of these interiors where basic physical infrastructure still is not present we uh, you know can't even think about digital infrastructure to be present there so digital infrastructure and even if it is present then digital literacy how much people know about uh technology how much people are aware and are comfortable with using technology that becomes a very uh problematic scenario again higher costs of mobile phones uh fear of cyber threat now you would say that the mobile phones are you know not very costly these days yes not not very costly but still for we are talking with respect to rural area so still there would be issues establishing um a computer uh, system or a system where people can you know surf internet or a system where people can easily access mobile phones uh, android phones where they can access the internet so um, all of that also has a cost associated and still we are yet to counter that issue for all the rural segments i'm not suggesting for maybe massively uh, the digital infrastructure has incorporated but still we are yet to come close to that particular uh, scenario where all of these rural areas would be covered a uh, fear of cyber threat i think is the most frequent phenomena uh, frequently there would be a call a message an email uh, even if people do not check email in the rural areas okay call and message is something that can reach everybody whether you have an android phone or not or whether you have a smartphone or not so which becomes a very drastic phenomena and cyber threat uh, is something which is very much interlinked with digital literacy when individuals will fear of digital platforms or cyber security they will fear of the banking system also because they would think that okay they, they, these are also digital platforms they might you know uh, feel that there is a synonymous nature to cyber security uh, which is present um, which i am using for using any website or for any banking system so again this becomes a phenomena phenomenal problem um and then of course um there are there are various other um things that have to be countered soon we can move on to look at the urban development issue now urban development over here we we basically talk about many other things but mostly jobless growth one one point over here is the problem of jobless growth and the second problem is educated unemployment
the indian economy is growing at a fast pace but one of the major problems that is unemployment that we are talking about presently is something that keeps on uh, hurting us back and keeps on becoming a hurdle but the major hurdle is not just the unemployment but is the jobless growth or the educated unemployment now another category or another type of unemployment becomes this educated unemployment where people are qualified people might be aware people might be training themselves pe people might have good skills but still why are they they not able to fetch a job now here a, a massive issue is not just about jobs uh, you may say that there are less amount of jobs but that's i think not a thing probably we are in an expansionary phase where there are more amount of companies more amount of startups that will establish and gradually the unemployment issue will get absorbed but that will happen gradually but till that time the educated unemployment will be a phenomena because these individuals might be trained for a specific job but they might not be trained for any type of a vocational skill that they may have and they may earn their livelihood so here one one of the major things that educated um, uh, which may counter or which may um, curb the educated unemployment would be to use your skills to earn your livelihood there are massive amount of skills that are available uh, nowadays on e platforms or on any other platform you would get any number of courses available so that you can upgrade your skills and then you own up to that skill or you earn livelihood from that own skill so which is why it this educated unemployment will definitely be curbed only when individuals think of themselves as an asset and not as labor which would work at some place for a specific job so that becomes a major note of urban development um uh, pertaining to unemployment also urban development uh, we uh, definitely can talk about various policies and regimes uh, you all must be looking at your cities they are getting improved they, there's a lot of infrastructural development public private partnerships metros um sky walks all of that is happening definitely one of the major things that uh, definitely is uh, and should happen in all, all types of urban developments is to make smarter cities now there's already a smart city project running uh, over here what we what we are talking about when we talk about smarter cities is the biodiver cities there's a there's a term which is known as biodiversity which basically means um the different species and different um living organisms and non living organisms um pertaining to environment over here what we are talking about is biodiver cities which means that each city if is developed or the urban infrastructure or urban development is developed in such a way that environment is taken taken up as a major um, grinding feature a parameter then definitely these cities will not just be growing or will be smart but will also be sustainable and when they are sustainable they will be always be futuristic so which is why we should focus on biodiverse cities so that we can imbibe the nature and grow forward and finally something that has been pointed out by the world bank is the part of governance when we talk about unemployment issues when we talk about development issues one of the major problems is governance and in that governance the world bank has pointed out some of the major factors or deficits of governance there are four types of deficits over here related to empowerment 
who will do this or who are the people who are the individuals who are going to implement the jobs or implement the work so that production consumption distribution all of these things happen where are we looking at for resources what are our resources and where are we looking at those resources are these resources nearer to us or do we have to import these resources or are these resources within our economy but they are you know there's a problem of extraction of resources so where are these resources then again who is accountable accountability would mean that who are those individuals who would be taking the up the responsibility and accountability of doing a task implementing a task in a specific scheduled time everything any type of development has to be scheduled it cannot be you know never ending process it has to be there has to be some schedules and who is going to take charge of that so there there might be deficits in the accountability part also and finally the again another where okay delivery where are we delivering who are these beneficiaries where are these uh, where are these um where is the development needed the most where is the priority of development is it in the rural area is it in the urban area is it in both areas where do we need the delivery of these resources and these benefits or of development so the two who's and two where's would talk about the deficits or the govern governance issues which are required for development in any economy they have been pointed out by world bank but i think this is something that can be taken up forward and can be remembered not just as deficits but as uh, implications or a parameter um these these can be four parameters so that the development process and uh, so that the development process in both rural and urban areas can be much uh, taken forward in a in a very exceeding um way or uh, the parameters these are also the parameters to check definite uh, definite type of unemployment uh, issues and different uh, different other economic and social evils in the economy so these are the concepts related to unemployment in the economy and of course um, any other economy with respect to development there would be much more such sessions with regards to other aspects other parameters of economy where we'll talk about what are the steps what are the concepts what are the causes all of that so thank you for this video we'll keep up updating you with much more facts keep watching keep liking our channel and subscribing us thank you